problem solving games for young players problem solving right okay so um, working with the players that I've had contact with um, so far um, in my move to California I've realised that there's not enough um, uh, they don't have enough data already in their heads they don't have enough data about what, what the game should look like the tempo the intensity the velocity the timing the pictures they don't have it yet so the best way the most effective way and the quickest way to help them see the pictures is to create problem solving games it's really super simple and it's simple but not one where the coach just sits off it's simple where you have to be conscientious about the process so involve them in the learning um, I've had this morning I've had a group of seven to ten year olds um, male and female players put the same level of intensity onto the expectations of what they're doing and make sure that you're relating what you're saying to them to what they know of the game so the language should be consistent and get them to create pictures in their heads so they understand for example how to make it competitive so you introduce a point system you don't do it straight away um, so we play two different games we use the same concepts of um, a bounce player uh, so the players on the outside who look to rotate the ball and then give those players responsibilities so they understand about their role and give them challenges so that we manage the um, we manage the, the, the tempo but the quality of the tempo in the games and then we give them um, a group uh, responsibility so that they aren't just playing as as uh, individuals so we give them uh, an opportunity to manage their group um, and, and that's that can be done by just the, the whiteboard getting them around the whiteboard and, and I did a combination of that with the session today get them around the whiteboard ask group questions as one big group uh, second way of doing it was separating them into their teams and having them manage and conduct their own team talks with areas which they should be focusing on so the idea is that we get these players to understand the concepts even though we might adapt the actual practice but the concept stays the same so what is a bounce player how does the bounce player relate to the team shape? Why do we have that team shape in possession? This is all about in possession. So we create much more attacking players and then we give them um, some uh, challenges and we make sure they understand, hey, it's about winning. So can you get your shots off? Making things realistic for them so they understand it's not just passing, passing, passing. We're looking for you to understand, but check your shoulder. Check your shoulder if it's a, take on your 1v1s, it's a shot. So keep your language consistent, create problem solving games which they can relate to the games that they already play and make sure the language um, is also something that they understand. So the problem solving game should help them create more pictures in their head and the problem that I found which is the, the players don't have the concepts yet it goes some way to reducing those issues because they're building more pictures in their head.